Why do I have to mess up in my life all the time? I feel like this is basically where my depression comes from. Is just the feeling that I can't do anything right. Okay, I'm not depressed because, you know, I had some major dramatic event happen in my life. It's not like I've been abused for many years. It's not like anything bad happened. I just have the feeling that I just can't do anything right in my life. The feeling like I can't do things that other people do. Because it seems like other people uh, just live their lives effortlessly, right? So easy. Uh, they just go out in the world and get things done. They, they are living a great life. They're becoming the person who they want to be. They can do anything. But then here's me. And I'm struggling to just get anything right. And that makes me depressed. So, are you going through anything similar as me, to where you feel like you just can't do anything right? Are you scared that you're going to mess up in the future? Are you scared that nothing in the future is going to work out the way that you want it to because you can't do anything right? Well, if that is you, then I want to talk about this a little bit more to that. Um, but don't expect me to have the answers to these. I don't hold all the secrets of the universe in my mind. Uh, but I will share with you my experience, and I will hope that I can give you some good words of wisdom, some things that you can take away and get some great advice from this. So, let's talk about this a little bit more. First of all, I think that the cause of this feeling that, I, oh, I can't do anything right, is from seeing other people do things that we haven't done. And it's also uh, coming from our own need uh, to be perfect. It's from this perfectionist mindset. Here's the thing, not everything in life is just going to be perfect right away. Everything takes time. You know, for you, if, if you're just having a hard time getting something done in your life, if you're having a hard time accomplishing something that you want to do, um, then for other people, it could be easier for them. But if you want to do things that other people are doing, just if you see somebody being successful at something that you want to be successful at, for you, it might take more time than them, but you can't let that stop you from doing it. Now, if you're not willing to put in the time to do something, then you're never going to get it done. So if you if you just have a problem uh, uh, staying committed to things, uh, then that would be why you just can't do anything in your life. And you just in that case, you just have to figure out how you're going to stay motivated to get things done over time. But if you go into a new situation and you think that everything is just going to be perfect, everything is going to be working out well for you, then then something went wrong in your mind to think that the world is just going to work out the way that you want it to. Because this is a thing that I had to learn the hard way, is I just thought, oh, I just had to visualize and imagine the life that I want to have, and then things are going to work out the way that I want them to. No, that's not what happens, and I figured that out. And um, that's just unfortunate, but it's the way things are. So, if you can understand that, that the world is not going to work out the way that you want it to, that's really all that you need to escape this depressive mindset. Because if you can understand that, then when things happen in life, when bad things happen, they don't go your way, you can just say, yeah, that's just the way it is. But, in spite of that, I'm still going to be happy. I'm still going to stay positive. I'm still going to keep a good attitude. And if you can just understand that and live that way, then there's going to be no, no more depression for you. There's going to be no more reason to feel hopeless and lost and empty and like you can't do anything. Some people are just really, really good at things. They're just lucky. They're, they're just superstars and, and really skilled at doing things. Um, and skills are things that sometimes anybody can do. Um, and... What they require of you is just a lot of work and effort of constantly improving yourself and constantly getting better. And even when you think you're the best you can be, you got to keep going one step further. And, and to say that you can't do anything right in your life is to ignore all the things that you have done right in your life. And maybe that's what your problem is, is you can't see the things that you are good at. You can't see the things that you have done and accomplished because they're all in the past. And I understand that. Things happen and now they aren't here anymore. And so when you look at the future, you don't think that you have anything to bring with you into the future, when really you do. 
whenever you try something new, it's not going to work out the best the first time. You're not going to do it right the first time. That's why if you continually work on things that you have already done in the past, if you keep on improving those skills, then you're going to be able to do something that you are able to do. So when you find yourself depressed, when you find yourself in a bad situation in life, go do the thing that you do know how to do and get back in this positive mindset. So then when you go out and you try to accomplish these new things, instead of having the, I, the feeling that you can't do anything right, have the feeling that, you know what, I am going to do this. I'm going to do everything that I can. I'm going to do whatever it takes to get this done, and I'm going to do it. You have to let that feeling of I can't do anything right drive you so you can prove it to yourself. Don't prove it to anybody else. Prove it to yourself that you can do something new. You can do it right. You can do what other people are doing. Don't let yourself stay depressed. Get out there and get things done. Prove to yourself that you can do it. Anyway, like I said, I'm not an expert on these things. I'm not somebody who says, hey, I have all the answers. This is my advice. This is what I've learned from going through it myself. My name is Kenneth Stahl. I make videos here on YouTube like this one where I help you live a better life. So if you want to live a better life, please subscribe to this YouTube channel so you can stay updated whenever I upload a new video. Other ways to stay in contact with me are to follow me on Twitter and like me on Facebook. Uh, I also have a website at KennethStahl.com. Um, I have some products on that website that uh, you can buy, uh, such as my CD called The Next Chapter. Um, and lastly, I just want to thank you for watching this video. Um, please share it if you feel like other people uh, can benefit from this video, if you have as well. Um, and that's all I have to ask for you. So with that being said, I'll see you in my next video.